Welcome to Project and Portfolio Management 9.55. This video will introduce some of the new features you cannot miss in this release. The app-like version of the mobile web client gets optimized in several ways to make life easier for PPM mobile users. As a tool to help manage forecast costs and capture actual costs, Financial Summary is redesigned to increase usability, efficiency, and cost integrity. Now let's drill down into these areas one by one. As a project manager, you might always be on business travels and in meetings. PPM Mobile Web Client aims to empower you to focus on your things anytime, anywhere. Its new version goes one step closer to the target. First, login becomes much easier. You can add PPM Mobile Web Client to the home screen as a shortcut. Whenever you want to log in, simply tap the icon. After login, you are greeted by a landing dashboard screen. It displays the items you care about the most, such as status of your projects, the proposals pending your approval, and the risks waiting for your evaluation. Whenever you want to check the updates, open PPM on your mobile and PPM allows you to configure whatever you would like to see on your mobile landing screen. While the dashboard screen provides you an overall picture, the request app helps you drill down into the details. It enables you to act on the requests that are waiting for your decisions. You can always start with the top one. To act on a request, tap the request to view the details and decide where it should go along its workflow. You can add notes for the request to exchange ideas among stakeholders. If it requires additional information to move forward, a look at head page will open to highlight what you should provide. In addition, your admin can help streamline your approval process by customizing which requests and request steps are appropriate for mobile access. As a program or project manager, during project execution, you have to regularly revisit cost plans and capture actual costs. PPM has financial summaries revamped to give you more flexibility and control over cost tracking. You can group costs by as many columns as possible. For example, if you want to see which cost is rolled up from the work plan or staffing profile and which cost is manually added that needs adjustment, just drag and drop the source column to the grouping area. Cost lines of the same source are grouped together. You can filter costs by column values. Let's say you only want to see the cost of contractors. Simply click on the category column and check the contractor option only. You can sort costs by any column. Suppose you want to know what costs the most in a specific month. You can click the column header and that month twice. What's on the top is what costs the most. To facilitate viewing cost, PPM also allows you to customize the cost table layout. It includes resizing columns, hiding and showing columns, as well as reordering columns. Editing costs in financial summaries becomes easier too. You can use the tab key to go to the next cell. You can copy and paste cells by using the shortcuts Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. If you already have costs captured in an Excel spreadsheet, you are able to copy the cost to the financial summary. Reporting cost is now simplified. You can just export the cost details to Excel. Right click any cell and select what you want to export. All data, selected data, or just currently displayed data. In a certain phase of project execution, for example, the project auditing phase, you may not want financial managers to edit costs of the past months. To protect cost integrity, PPM enables you to control whether or not to lock the costs of the past months, when to lock them, and who can adjust locked cost. Besides the above major features, PPM 9.55 implemented many customer enhancement requirements. To name just a few of them, you can use HTML plus portlets to dynamically present data. A better version of pivot table portlets is available for use. Time tracking and control for closed tasks are improved and you can save a submitted request for later use without having to fill in the mandatory fields. If you want to learn more about what's new in PPM 9.55, visit the PPM online help. Thank you for watching.